Hi yogis, today we'll do a 50 minute morning yoga flow routine to make you feel relaxed and energized, ready to take on anything from your day ahead. I hope you enjoy, let's get started. Come to a seated position. Your own choice of pose today, just to start with a seated meditation. <sighs> Breathe deeply through the nose. Close your eyes. Start to connect to your body and your breath. See how your breath feels today. Seeing how your body feels today in your seated pose. Usually after a night's rest, the body will feel a little bit stiff just from not moving throughout the night. And staying in positions for long periods of time. So in the morning, your body will probably feel a little bit stiff, but with the practice, you start slow, allowing the joints to warm up. And with time, You'll feel loose, ready, and energized for the day. So now in your seated meditation, we're just connecting mind, body, and breath, preparing us for our practice. See where your mind goes and always bring it back to your breath. This can also be very helpful in waking up and going to sleep as well. Making sure the mind isn't wandering too much and just staying in the present moment, preparing yourself for the day ahead. Taking a couple minutes in your bed before you get up to open your eyes and breathe deeply. It's a beautiful practice to add to your everyday morning routine. Let's bring one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly, connecting even more to our breath, feeling the movement in your chest and in your belly region against your palms. Make sure they're both super active here, that not one area is more powerful than the other. Pushing the belly and the chest forward and contracting back to center. Sometimes the chest can feel a little bit more powerful. So we really just wanna give the belly breathing some love too. Slowly release the hands to your knees. We'll come into more of an active breath here, inhaling as you pull onto your knees and bring your chest in between your arms, stretching the throat forward as well. And exhaling as you push against the knees, rounding the spine backwards, connecting chin to chest. Inhale forward, exhale backwards. Continue at your own pace, preferably starting slowly, maybe picking up the pace, allowing the spine to warm up properly. After your night's rest, the spine becomes stiff, like we mentioned, so it's really feeling the movement of your spine here, the flexibility of your spine. Deeply through the nose. We're also warming up the 
shoulder region here, you can feel the movement of your chest expanding forward as you inhale. And the stretch in your upper back as you exhale. Come back to center to add some circular movements here. Still connecting to your breath. Feel free to move in this circular motion as, as much and as creatively as you please. If you want to move the head, if you want to move the arms, just letting the energy flow freely here. Warming up that kundalini energy at the bottom of your spine. Waking up the sleeping serpent at your sacral region, at your root. Waking up all the energy throughout the, your whole body. And change direction. As your body pleases, listen to what your body needs. If it wants to remove the hands, if it wants to go a little bit deeper into the head movement. And coming back to center, close the eyes for a moment, just to feel that awakened energy at your root, at your seat, and throughout your whole body. Let's inhale, the hands come up. Creating lots of space in the spine here, feeling more space between every vertebrae as much as possible, reaching up. And exhale, let's come to the right into a gentle side bend. Make sure you're not leaning too much on your right arm and collapsing and allowing the left leg to lift. Just want the hand here as a small weight to help us feel balanced. Keeping the left leg on the ground, the left hip rooted in the ground because you don't want to lose half of that stretch. And then you're reaching up and over, not collapsing towards the ground. So feel your heart open in front of you. You can look up towards your left hand, or keep your neck in the center, whatever feels more comfortable for your neck at the moment. Breathing deeply through the nose, feeling this nice, long, lateral stretch on the left side of your body. Inhale back to center. Reaching up towards the sky as high as possible. Exhale, change sides. Remembering all those points from the first side. I like to stay up high on my fingertips here sometimes to make sure I'm really pushing against my hand and allowing the right side of my body to expand even more up and over. Inhale back to center, reaching the hands up high, and we'll bring both hands to the right side, to the ground, and slowly lower as much as is comfortable for you, coming into this relaxed, gentle twist position, massaging our abdominal organs, activating our metabolism for the day, working on our digestive system. You can relax the head here or look in between your hands. Slowly come back up. Inhale the hands all the way up to the sky and exhale slowly come to the opposite side. Bringing the hands out in front of you and slowly lowering down, maybe to your forearms if that's comfortable. If 
Feeling this abdominal massage going on with every breath in your twist. Slowly coming back up. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, slowly lower the hands and bring our hands behind us and open our legs out in front of us. We'll come into an angle four position. So we'll lift the right leg up and place the ankle right below the knee against the thigh. And we'll flex in that right foot to protect the right knee. Here you can choose for more or less intensity. For more intensity, you'll walk the hands towards the body and bring your upper body closer to your right leg. For less intensity, you'll move back and it doesn't really matter how your hands are positioned, on your, on your fingertips, on the palm, as long as you're not collapsing and still working on opening that heart and finding that beautiful long spine. So whatever variation you chose, Breathe deeply here through the nose. Yes, that rhymed and it was cool. <laughs> Going deeply here into your right hip joint. Slowly release the leg, let's change sides. Lifting the left leg, placing it on the right thigh, right below the knee. Flexing in the left foot, protecting that left knee. Again, choosing where you want to be on your hands for more and less intensity. Keeping that spine long and heart open forward. Breathing deeply. Slowly release the leg. Preparing yourself here for reverse tabletop, you'll turn the palms uh, with the fingers in the direction of your legs, not behind you. And making sure the legs are a good hips distance, arms are shoulder distance. And we'll inhale, press into your hands, into your feet, and slowly lift the hips up with control. Starting to activate the muscles in the body, warm up the body. Let's take a couple deep breaths here in your reverse tabletop. Pressing into your feet and your hands. The head is not dropping back. We want to keep it neutral in the center. Maybe looking a bit in front of you or towards the ceiling. Push a little bit higher with the hips and slowly lower down. Beautiful. Let's shake out the wrists, shake out the feet. And come into a tabletop position. Moving forward, hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. And take a moment here to really align yourself properly. Spread out the fingertips, grabbing the mat, activating your whole hand muscle. Pressing into your shins, the top of your feet. This should be active here. <sighs> Breathing deeply through the nose for a moment. Feeling this nice long spine as if there's a string pulling your head forward and your hips back. Let's add some circular movements on the wrist now, warming up the wrist joint. And really look at your fingers, look at your palms, see what's happening as you circle on your wrists, on your hands. See if any of the fingers start to lift or if your palms start to lift. Just being aware of what goes on when you put weight in your hands. Let's change direction. Coming 
back to center, we're gonna flip the right hand. So we're on the back of the hand now. And we're gonna place the left hand on top of the right hand. So the palms are connected. We'll look like this. Palms are connected and we're on the right hand. Legs are balanced. And the movement that's gonna happen here is bringing the elbow to the floor and a bit in front. So it's like down and forward. This is a great prep warm up movement for learning your chaturanga, learning how to lower down properly with the shoulders. So just do a couple of those connecting to your breath, inhaling as you rise and exhaling as you lower down, elbow to the ground. <sighs> Make sure you're still pressing palm into palm. Also great for you learning your downward dog shoulder rotation. In downward dog, it's not touched upon too often, but your shoulders should be externally rotated. So this is a great way to learn how to really isolate and move in your shoulder joint. Let's change sides, coming back to your tabletop, flipping the left hand, palm, um, palm facing up, leaning onto the back of your hand, make sure the fingers are spread out and on the ground. And slowly bring your right hand on top of your left hand, connecting the fingers, connecting the palms. And we'll slowly start to add our movement, bringing the elbow to the ground and a little bit forward. Inhaling as you rise, straightening both the arms. Exhale, drop the elbow to the ground. And back up, inhale. Keep going at your own pace. You can move as slow as you want. Really learning this interesting warm up movement for yourself. And also giving your palm a little massage. And let's come back to center to our tabletop. Lifting up onto your toes, let's lift the knees one inch above the ground. Take three deep breaths here. Starting to activate the body and energize you for the day ahead. And slowly lower down. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Coming back up, knees one inch above the ground. We're gonna start adding movement here. So let's walk the right leg back to plank. And then the left leg, finding your plank pose. And then coming back, left leg, right leg, to your tabletop with raised knees. Again, right leg, left leg. Plank, left leg, right leg. Lifted tabletop. One more. Right leg, left leg. Left leg, right leg. Let's do three on the other side now. So starting with the left, coming back to your plank, and the right leg, finding your plank. Right leg comes forward, left leg comes forward. Two more. Left leg, right leg. Right leg, left leg. Last one. Left, right. Right, left. Inhale deeply here. Then exhale, lower the knees and find the child's pose for a moment. Lowering down towards your ankles, towards your feet. Connecting your seat to your feet. Lowering the head down to the ground, maybe connecting your forehead, third eye chakra to the earth, to the ground beneath you. <sighs> Taking a couple deep breaths here. 
Let's slowly find our way back to our tabletop, tucking the toes, lifting the hips, coming to your first downward dog of the lesson. So let's add some movement here, walking out the legs, shaking out the hips, moving the weight forward and backwards from your feet to your hands, whatever feels good for you right now. Walk the feet all the way to the hands. <sighs> Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Rest. We'll go into a couple rounds of hot salutations with some variations. So let's get into it. Big toe to big toe, top of the mat. Inhale, the hands come up. Look up towards your fingertips. Feel this beautiful length in your body, stretching your whole body from your toes to your fingertips. Exhale, lower down, forward fold. And take note of your first forward fold right now and the last one that we'll do. You're gonna bring the left leg all the way back, coming into a low lunge, dropping the left knee. Inhale, look up, stretch your throat region. Drop the hands, walk back to your plank. Drop the knees and exhale as you lower down your chest and chin to the ground. Hips stay up high here. Inhale, coming into your cobra. Beautiful long spine to your bendy spine, shoulders away from the ears, look up. Tuck the toes, exhale, downward dog. Adjust yourself as needed, feet, hips distance, hands shoulder distance, moving the weight from your hands to your feet. Look forward, bring the left leg in between your hands, drop your right knee. Inhale, look up. Exhale, big toe to big toe, forward fold. Inhale, reaching up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Other side. Inhale up. Exhale down, right leg back, inhale, look up, come back to plank, drop your knees and exhale as you bring chin and chest to the ground, inhale, cobra, exhale, downward dog, look forward, right leg comes in between your hands, use your hands if you need to help. Drop the left knee, inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, exhale, head to knees. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Okay, inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Left leg comes back, low lunge, look up, inhale. Back to planks. Drop the knees, exhale as you lower, chin and chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Look forward, bring that left leg in between your hands. And before you lower to a low lunge, let's stay high on our back toes and inhale into a high lunge, high crescent lunge. Hands come up towards the sky. Knee stays above the ankle, hips are facing forward. Taking a deep breath here. <sighs> Inhale, reach a little bit higher. Exhale, bring the hands to your foot, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, Samasthiti, rest. Other side. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Right leg back. Inhale, look up, low lunge. Back to plank, drop the knees, exhale, and knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Bring that right leg in between your hands and prep for high lunge. Staying high on your back toes, knee above the ankle. Inhale, hands come up. 
Take a deep breath here. Inhale, reach a bit higher with your hands. Exhale, hands come by your right foot, forward fold, bringing the left leg forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, rest. Beautiful. Inhale into a chair pose. Gonna bend the knees, hands come up, hips lower. Exhale, forward fold. Left leg comes back. Inhale, drop the knee and look up. Taking another deep breath here. Inhale, prepare yourself in your low lunge. Feeling balanced, drop the hands behind you. Inhale as you slowly raise your arms up. Take a deep breath here. Opening your heart forward, reaching your hands up towards the sky. I'm Jamie Asana. Inhale again, reaching, reaching, reaching. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, back to plank. Drop the knees. Exhale as you lower down, chin, chest, knees. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Look forward, left leg comes all the way. Drop the right knee, inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Other side. Inhale into your chair pose. Swing the hands up, dropping the hips slowly. Exhale, forward fold. Bringing the right leg back. Lower down into your low lunge, inhale, look up. Take a deep breath here, preparing yourself to lift your hands, bringing the hands behind you. Preparing to swing them up on your inhale. And go, reaching up towards the sky. Feeling balanced here, take a deep breath in your Anjani Asana. Inhale, reach a bit higher. Exhale, hands come down towards the mat. Inhale, back to plank. Drop the knees, chest, chin, exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Right leg comes in between your hands. Drop the left knee, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Take a moment here to check your forward fold and how it feels now and on the first one you did. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Let's go into some balance work. Grounding in the left foot. You're gonna lift the right leg behind you and give yourself a nice little quad stretch, stretching the front of your right thigh. If you need some extra help with your balance, you can do this by a wall as well. Just take a moment here, finding your one-pointed focus on the floor in front of you or the wall in front of you. Pulling your leg closer and closer to you in the back, feeling this beautiful deep quad stretch. Make sure your abs are activated, your core is activated. And then slowly bring our right hand towards the inside of our right foot by the big toe, preparing us for dancer pose. Inhale, the left hand comes up by your ear. Exhale, and slowly start to hinge at the hips like a seesaw as your upper body lowers down, your right leg and right hand find their way up. Finding this beautiful balancing work here within yourself. If you feel like you lose your balance, you can always come back up and go back down, playing with your body, with your balance, feeling beautiful and light this morning. And slowly come back up, inhale, left hand to ear, drop the right knee. And exhale, bring the right knee to chest and give it a nice big hug. <sighs> Preparing us for eagle pose now. We'll bring the right leg over our left leg and create a bind here. If that's difficult, 
You can place the right leg on the ground like this. Or you can just do the cross without the bind, but I find that's the hardest variation because there's not a lot of pressure keeping the body together. So either the bind or right leg on the ground crossing the leg. Beautiful. Bring your hands to heart center, preparing you for the arm variation. Right hand comes forward 90 degrees, left hand above that right hand and binding the hands now. If this is difficult, you can stay with your hands at heart center. <sighs> Breathe deeply here and slowly start to sit in your eagle posture, lowering down the hips. Start to connect your elbows to your knees, slowly, slowly, slowly. And bring your hands to the ground, unwind, and find yourself in a forward fold. You can grab opposite elbows and dangle the arms for a moment. <sighs> Maybe bring your hands to the ground and shake out the legs before we go into the other side. And inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Balancing on the right leg now. Lifting the left leg up, grabbing the foot from behind and starting with our quad stretch. Looking at your drishti, your one-pointed focus. Make sure the core is activated. You feel tall in your posture. You're pressing into all the points on your right foot, on your standing foot. Feeling strong and balanced. As well as this nice deep quad stretch on your left thigh. Let's bring our left hand on the inside of our left foot now. Grabbing the foot by the big toe. Lift the right hand towards your ear, inhale. Preparing you for dancer pose. Slowly hinging from the hips, leaning forward with the upper body and lifting the left leg up, kicking into your left hand. Again, remember to feel light and strong at the same time, a beautiful balance of energy here in dancer pose. Breathing deeply, then inhale, come back up, right hand by the ear. Exhale, hug that left knee in your chest, by your chest. <laughs> Preparing you for eagle pose, crossing over, left knee over the right knee, finding your bind, or bringing the left leg onto the ground. <sighs> Bring your hands to heart center. Again, you can choose to stay here or move with me into the arm variation as well. Bringing the left hand forward now 90 degrees. Right hand above that, binding the hands and slowly sitting into your eagle posture. You'll find that you'll be able to bind more easily. Breathe deeply. Feel the burn, you can do it. And slowly start to inch your elbows in the direction of your knees while staying balanced. And then open your bind of your hands, come into your forward fold and bind the legs. Again, let's add some movement here for a moment, maybe shaking out the legs, maybe dangling the arms side to side, whatever feels best for you right now. <sighs> We'll come into a wide angle with our legs a little bit wider than hips distance and toes facing out to sit down in a yogi squat. Hands come to heart center, elbows are between the knees or on the hands can be on the ground if you need help with the balance. If your heels aren't on the ground, you can place pillows or towels under your heels to feel more stable. Find your yogi squat and take a couple deep breaths here while working on opening the heart forward and finding that beautiful long spine. 
This is a really great pose to work on finding your posture, your correct posture. Pressing into both of your feet. Hmm. Inhale, the hands come up, reaching up towards the sky. Exhale, let's bring the palms together and interlace the fingers and just unwind the index finger, coming into pistol hands. You see that? Beautiful, We're reaching up with the hands, reaching, pointing with your index finger towards the sky. Take three deep breaths here. And slowly bring the hands in front of you now. And reach forward with your hands, stretching your upper back, your whole upper back region, shoulders. Taking three deep breaths here. Lower your hands and come to a seat for a moment. We'll relax in the legs for a second. If you want, you can come into Baddha Konasana with me to still open the hips. One second, I'm gonna open the door for Taya. I hope you like that little break. <laughs> Either you're in Baddha Konasana with me working on this uh, gentle hip opening posture, or you can be in a regular seated position if you just want to rest for a moment. We'll work on the arms for a second, so the legs aren't really important. We're going to inhale the hands up and interlace the fingers and invert them. Almost like you're hugging your head with the sides of your arms and the head is relaxed. Hmm. Breathe deeply through the nose, feeling the movement of your belly expanding and contracting. We'll add some circular motions here, circling the hands around, feeling this movement in your chest region and your ribs. And change direction. Connecting it to your breath. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, release the hands. Take a deep breath here. And inhale, the hands come back up. Palms facing forward, spreading all the fingers, letting the cosmic energy enter through your antenna fingers. And exhale, let's bring the arms down halfway, coming into 90 degrees into cactus arms. Really reaching back as if you want your shoulder blades to touch each other. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open the arms. Cactus arms. Shoulder blades reaching each other in the back. Inhale up. Exhale, last one. Make it a good one. And release, hands back to your knees. Again, take a deep breath. Always feel free to close your eyes and just channel what's going on inside. <sighs> let's close our legs and come into boat pose. So let's give the back of your thighs a big hug for a moment, making sure you're sitting nice and steady on your sit bones and not on your lower back. And slowly release the hands in front of you. You can stay with the legs bent, even on the ground a bit, touching your big toe if you need to. Or maybe straightening the leg as much as you feel comfortable while still sitting on your sit bones and not on your lower back. Three deep breaths here. And slowly lower down as slow as possible to the ground and release. 
Beautiful. From here, we'll come into bridge pose. So the legs will be hips distance. Heels will be close enough that you can touch them when you come to the side, but not too close that they're connected to your thighs. <sighs> Neck is relaxed and in the center. Shoulders are relaxed. Hands come by your hips. And pressing into your feet and into your palms before you raise up, feel this activation preparing you, making you feel strong before we enter this gentle inversion. So pressing into your feet and hands, slowly start to lift up your hips, really seeing what happens as you lift. The energy starts to flow towards your head, towards your heart. Make sure your knees stay forward and don't open up. Sometimes that happens without noticing. So really make sure you're pressing into your feet, keeping your knees forward. Breathing deeply here in your bridge. It can be as high as you want or as low as you want. It's really up to you what feels good for you today. <sighs> Breathing deeply through the nose. A couple more deep breaths here. And slowly lower down. I'd like to invite you now to do it in any inversion pose that you want to do. It can be a headstand, a handstand, a forearm stand, another bridge, a wheel pose, literally any pose where your heart is above your head. If you need to use the wall or any pillows around you, you're welcome to do so. Um, or you can just do the bridge pose that we just did now. Again, any inversion, I truly recommend to do that at least for five minutes a day to Calm your body, feel strong and stable for the rest of your day. Center in on your energy and have this strong focus. So choose whatever inversion you want and let's do it together for five deep breaths. So prepping yourself now for whatever inversion you chose. I'm gonna go into headstand. Walking the feet up, finding my hips over my shoulders, and lifting up my legs. It can also be any version or variation you want, straight legs, bent legs. It's up to you in your inversion practice. Five deep breaths wherever you are. opposite elbows, bringing your head towards your knees. And Supta Bhavan Muktasana, wind release pose. So if any wind needs to release from your body in this posture, that's totally okay. And also amazing for your digestive system, releasing any unneeded gas, <laughs> which might have been built up overnight in your sleep which is totally okay, it's normal, normal body things. And slowly release the head. Let's grab the knees with our hands and add circular motions of the knees, opening and closing. Just some last gentle movements for our hips and our back. Feeling your whole back grounded on the floor. Working on the mobility of your hip joints, circulation. And change direction, closing and opening. Close the knees together. You can place the hands by your sides or keep them on your legs, whatever is comfortable for you. Adding circular motions with the knees together, just giving yourself a lower back massage here. 
before we enter Shavasana. And change direction. And release your legs down into the ground. Either legs as wide as your mat or maybe a bit wider, or you can keep the legs bent with your feet on the edge of your mat and bring your knees towards the center if you have any lower back pain when you lay um, straight on the ground. So a couple options here. You can also feel free to use any pillows or props that help you in your last resting posture. Push your shoulders away from your ears, really with your hands, almost giving yourself a little shoulder massage for a moment. Pushing the shoulders away from your head, back down towards the ground. Bring your hands by your hips, palms facing up. Move your chin a little bit more in the direction of your chest so you're not straining, looking too high up. And close your eyes. Connecting to your breath and your body and your mind as you did in the beginning of our practice in your seated meditation. Relaxing completely with your body, just feeling the movement of your belly rising and falling. Again, if your mind starts to wander, remember to bring it back to your breath, to bring it back to the present moment, to your body, and the sensations you feel of your body against the ground beneath you. Completely in the present moment. All the little muscles in your face are also relaxed. Feeling as if your cheeks and your eyebrows are melting towards the sides of your face. Let's take a couple more deep and complete breaths before we finish our practice. Inhaling deeply through the nose, filling up your whole body like a balloon, and exhaling completely, feeling your belly hit the ground beneath you. <sighs> Feel free to release any sound effects that you need to as well with your breath. Completely releasing any trapped emotions or feelings. If you want to scream, you can scream. If you want to sigh, you can sigh. <sighs> Let's slowly turn onto our right side. You can bring your right hand under your head as a pillow. Left hand to heart. Taking a couple more deep breaths here on your side, giving your heart a little bit more extra space. Feeling the power of your heart. And slowly using your hands, find your comfortable seat. Keeping the eyes closed as much as possible, just moving and feeling that movement. <sighs> Letting the circulation flow back through your body. Returning to your normal breath. Feeling this beautiful posture and warmed up body for the rest of your day to be energized, flexible in your body and flexible in your mind ready for anything that comes your way. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you, namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. I really hope you enjoyed the practice and are ready for the day ahead. 
Let me know how you like the class in the comments below and please like the video and subscribe to my channel and support my YouTube yoga journey. Thank you again. Bye.